this is the average engineer and I have a reaction video for you guys for this Monday Night Raw what was it I think it was 6 June yeah 6 June the episode and uh, let's just break this down uh, I'll mainly talk about what I liked and what I dislike about this Monday Night Raw and it's just general fan shit and I, I just I, I love I love this stuff I love pro wrestling I love the WWE and the NXT and this is fun for me guys uh, it's 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 an escape it's it's always been fun from the WWE WCW WWF era yeah now it's called WWE so yeah whatever so let's get this started so first up guys Raw started with the money in the bag participants right Cesaro Del Rio Ambrose KO Kevin Owens Sami Zayn Cesaro Chris Jericho uh, and I have to say it was a pretty cool start you know uh, all, all of them were in ladders and it was it was pretty funny uh, it was pretty funny mainly KO and Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose were were, were funny man that these this is the kind of stuff I love man uh, not not those long ass bitch ass promos of 30 30 freaking minutes it, it, it just sucks the life out of you uh, the authority promos they were let's just not even go there guys and this this was fun for me I think a lot of people enjoyed it and uh, this was fun so next up would be Cesaro versus Chris Jericho good for Cesaro they're pushing him again starting to push him in uh, decent matchup guys I'm, I'm I'm at this stage now kind of if if there's not a good match I'm just gonna skip through it like all the other guys like you who would just want to see awesome matches so yeah and next up would be number three would be the Rusev and Jack Swagger and Titus O'Neil stuff oh man it was so freaking horrible just I just skipped all over it it was completely horrible. Let's go to the other stuff. Cena versus AJ Styles. I mean, come on. The club is back again. I think the most interesting stuff that is going on right now in WWE would be AJ Styles versus John Cena. I mean, John Cena's return and AJ Styles turning heel are beautiful. I mean, WWE couldn't have even booked it any more better. I mean, last week. The beat down, the club is back, and everything about it. John Cena. Uh, the promo was pretty. The, I mean, I have to say, uh, in a while I've seen WWE. This was one of the one of the better promos that I've ever seen. It it was pretty good. I mean, like this is this is this is what is called a promo, guys. I mean, if you catch my drift, uh, you guys know what promos are, and I think this this was this was a good one, really good one. I mean, Cena started off strong, you know, said that it take it took AJ Styles to get 20 freaking years it took him to get to WWE and then AJ Styles just burned him, man. <laughs> what a burn it was. It was completely awesome burn. I mean, every freaking fan enjoyed. I mean, come on, don't say. Just, just, just admit it that you guys enjoyed it because it was so cool when he said that you, John Cena, are the guy. Everyone knows when buries that guy just goes downhill. His career goes. His career is completely over, and it was such a such a true fact. And damn man, look at AJ Styles breaking that freaking fourth wall. Damn son, that was pretty pretty strong shit, man. That was pretty good, man. AJ Styles ended up owning his ass in the end. You know the the mic skills are amazing, amazing. Loved it. The, lo loved it that the club is back and and this stuff. What do you say? The Barry word was used, and I think every every freaking fan enjoyed it, and everyone would have been kind of surprised at that promo and that word being used. So yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I think it's the best thing right now, and they should book the club really strong. And I really do not want AJ Styles to lose to Cena. Ah oh, man, it would freaking suck. Losing to Jericho, Reigns, and now this man, come on. One thing Cena said was true that company is kind of burying him, and come on, man. He, 
he came at the Royal Rumble and after that they're just uh, it's completely pointless come on book push fucking AJ Styles damn it yeah moving on so Sammy versus the Rio Sammy Zayn versus the Rio another another okay match I didn't kind of like it and in the end Sammy Zayn kind of got buried uh, I don't know it, it, he lost and how how many times have Sami Zayn lost from like nah it's just it's just weird for me to see Sami Zayn lose this early and let's just move on from this fight too so another fun match would be what Ambrose versus Kevin Owens come the fuck on how many times have they done this match I mean it's like the Ziggler and Baron again. This was, it, it just was completely the same thing. And it was, it was kind of boring too. It was the same routine. You know, uh, these two are one of my favorites wrestlers. Reigns, sorry, <laughs> I just fucking said Reigns. Ambrose and Owens. But man, it was boring. And what's up with them making Kevin Owens lose so much, man? And I love Kevin Owens and he's a strong heel. And what the fuck are they doing? Making him lose all the time. And I think Kevin Owens or Ambrose should win the money in the bank. But let's let's just push for KO, man. KO lost. Ah, come on. So, yeah. And also, one more thing. More, more freaking backstage segments between KO and Ambrose, man. Funny, funny stuff. KO and Ambrose, more, more backstage. More backstage. Please, more backstage promos, WWE. Yeah. And finally, the cringeworthy moments. Yeah, this is going to be a thing from now on. Every freaking Raw, pay-per-view, SmackDown. I'm going to be doing this thing. It's called the most cringeworthy moments of Raw. Where you just like, oh man, come on. Did that just freaking happen? So yeah, the most cringeworthy moment would be the golden fucking truth, guys. The golden truth. What the fuck is going on in there, man? I just... Who asked for the golden truth? Tell me who asked for it. They are saying that we asked for it, but we never asked it. Never demanded. Still, WWE is showing us that. Yeah. Moving on to the second most cringeworthy moment would be Teddy freaking long guys fumbling and Teddy returning it was weird uh, the longest rating Smackdown I, I just I just it just reminded me of Smackdown and wow so yeah these two were the cringeworthy moments I'm the average engineer and Every pay-per-view, every Raw, SmackDown, we are going to be doing this thing. And this is the start of journey for me. And I hope it is a good one. Catch you later, guys.